Hello, man of light here. Um, going to be speaking about uh, little Billy Jones, who went missing in Vineland uh, 58 years ago. Uh, has never been seen or heard from, and the search continues. A plastic bin in Jill Jones's house, which is his sister, contains photographs, decades of old newspaper clippings and baby clothes that belonged to her brother, who went missing in 1962 from her Cumberland County home. William Jones Jr., or Billy, as Jill calls him, disappeared 58 years ago. The three-year-old child was last seen playing outside with Jill, his younger sister, near their Taylor Avenue home in Vineland. She says, I keep it because my brother, Jill Jones said, who now lives um, out of the area, about the artifacts in the container. And she also said, when I'm dead, who's going to know about Billy? This is all I have. According to New York, uh, Jersey State Police, there are between 14,000 to 16,000 people reported missing in New Jersey every year. That's a phenomenal amount, just in the state of New Jersey. So, uh, you know, there are more than 1,100 unsolved missing person cases in New Jersey dating to 1969, state police said. William Jones is not included in that statistic. Even so, authorities say they are still looking into the case. Special agent, FBI agent said, we continue to work it. Um... They work out at news, the agency in Northfield, New Jersey, and they're hoping to resolve it. The FBI is investigating with the assistance of the Vine Police, which is now in its fifth decade. The longer it goes, the harder it is to solve, the agent said. At this point, because of the time, we're going to really need that person to come forward. William Jones was reported missing at 1 p.m. December 17, 1962, according to the FBI. He was last seen by his mother at 11.45 a.m. By noon, neighbors and, uh, had started to look for him, kicking off a four-day search that included hundreds of people, helicopters, and bloodhounds, according to the agency. That's not a big gap of time. Uh, so someone has to be aware of what happened. Tips are coming from across the country related to Jones' disappearance. <coughs> when leads come in, uh, we run them down as fast as possible and as completely as possible, the agent said. He's somewhere, somewhere, something happened to him. Sometimes Jill Jones' mind wanders about what happened to her brother, and the possibility can be unsettling, particularly when her thoughts uh, settle on some of the more, uh, that is too much to handle, said Jones. <laughs> but that's how your brain does to you, she's added. I just say to myself, he's alive, he's always been alive, and he's happy. That's how she deals with it. William Jones' disappearance forever affected Jill. In the beginning, it affected her family life. Her dad drank, and they didn't talk about it much at home, she said. And it still affects her now with her grandchildren. She doesn't let them play outside by themselves at all. She, she trusts no one, and that she's paranoid. Jill was the last remaining member of the William Jones immediate family. On top of the cabinet in her home sit the urns containing the cremated remains of her mother, father, and younger brother. She also said that when someone you know dies, you know where they're at. But with Billy, you don't have an answer, Jill said. Well, I'm hoping that there is closure soon for Jill and her family. Uh, I can't imagine what she has gone through in the last uh, 58 years of Billy being missing. 
Uh, I can't. I can't even fathom that. And I'm sure it'd be hard for anybody. I'm sure it has been many, many prayers um, and things that uh, people had the thoughts about different things, you know, and, and they try to help her out. They even had a psychic years ago uh, uh, tell her and her family uh, that he was uh, hit by a car and buried somewhere near near the home, near the area where he was at. But for now, I'm going to leave you with this here. I will do a follow-up. <laughs> My own investigation. Uh, what I found and what I was told from the spirit world. Um, stay tuned for that. And I'll be back at you soon. Okay, thank you.